And good evening, Matthew Koritz. He'll attend this church in Valrico for many years today. His son told me that he wants the focus to be on his dad and not the suspect at the center of this case. Matthew Cortiel, seen beaming with pride in this wedding photo, was less than two years into retirement when he was killed. Today on the phone, his son Melvin said, you couldn't find a more innocent person. The beloved father of three and grandfather of four was killed, prosecutors said, by this man, James Hansen Jr. Mr. Hansen, you have the right to be president at all of your court hearings. Do you understand that? Yes. Can you answer yes or no? Yes. Not long after he went to jail for robbing this Valrico bank, carjacking Coratiel, then killing him, Hansen tried to kill himself by hanging at the Falkenberg Road Jail. He ended up at Tampa General Hospital for weeks and today appeared in court for an arraignment. Friends and family of Coratiel were there as well, but didn't want to talk on camera. Melvin said about the suicide attempt, I thought that was a very cowardly act on his part. He wanted the focus on his dad, who ran a successful Hillsborough County store for many years. My mother, my siblings, and I are still having a hard time coping with the fact that my father is gone, he said. And Hansen remains in jail tonight in the medical ward. He's due in court again at the end of this month. We're live tonight in Valrico, Hillsborough County. I'm Ryan Hughes, 8 on your side.